to adventures with your senior and junior ranger. So I think I'm starting to get it. First, a, a, a seed needs food and water, like sun and water to That's start right. growing. Yeah. And then and then next it needs roots to grow out of the ground and, and to stand on. Right again. Great job. But after that it just looks like one big tree. What more is there to know? There's so much more to know about the tree above the ground. You see, each part of the tree that you see above ground does something important for the tree's life. Today we start at the core or the trunk. Is that why you asked me to bring trunks? Or are we going swimming? Not yet. You're wearing trunk because it's the trunk Tuesday. But it's Wednesday today. Silly Junior, trunk Tuesday isn't a day. It is a state of mind. Uh... So what is the big deal with trunks? The trunk is the biggest and the strongest part of the tree. It supports the branches and the leaves and takes the nutrients from the roots. But but branches and leaves always change. Like leaves fall down and, and branches can snap like a twig in a storm. Is a trunk still doing its job? You bet. So long as the trunk is standing firm and tall, there's always a chance that the branches and the leaves will grow back. The trunk changes too, but slowly. Whoa, was that in the sand the whole time? It was. Do you see these rings? I do. The trunk grows a new ring every year, and it shows whether or not the tree has had a good or hard year, depending on how much space is in between the rings. Lots of space means a very good year. So you can tell how old a tree is by looking at the trunk? Yeah, when your trunk is healthy and strong, you have a good solid tree. Wow, I never knew you could find out so much from the trunk of a tree. Oh hey there, it's me again, Isaac, one of the Bible instructors with Camps of Meaning. Based on what we just saw, it seems the trunk is a very important part of a tree. Not only does it hold it all together, it even tells you about the tree's story every year of its life. In fact, you could say that the trunk is a tree's storybook of how it grew. Just like a tree's story is at the center of its life, our stories help shape who we are as people growing in God. Take the Bible. The Bible takes the big story of God and puts it in a book. The story of God and God's people. That's us. Often we trust the Bible to help us stay firm like a trunk when the rest of our life is feeling shaky. Every person also has their own stories of faith. Those stories are all unique and they even mix together to form even bigger faith stories. The stories of families and churches and the whole world. Some of those stories are happy, but some are sad, just like a tree can have good years and bad years. Some stories are just mysterious. But all these stories can help us to grow as the years pass. Please pray with me. Creator God, we are part of your story and you are part of ours. Help us to learn from the things that happen in our lives and see you as you are at work within them. Amen. Thank you again for joining us here. Tune in next week to find out how trees breathe.